Bryson Tiller is back with his new self-titled album, and in this video, we're gonna uncover all the secrets behind its production. To do that, let's start by listening to Attention. Two black five inch heels, dressing, kill him, hit as you can tell by the song and the cover as well, the theme of the album is quite futuristic. To me, that screams one thing, synths. So I started off by layering two synth pads. Then taking inspiration from attention again, there are these textural synth accents building up the soundscape. First, I added a lead with portal to give it that glitchy texture. Next, I filled the space with some more melodic accents. And for one final melodic element, I took inspiration from Ram. The sampled vocal gives that classic trap soul sound in a new way. Straight away, I reversed and chopped the melody whilst also filtering out some high end. I then started the drums, taking inspiration from Chow. You got a two day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. Whilst it's a drill bounce, the sound selection still makes it feel as though it's a Bryson song. I added two light hi hats, a rim, and a snap. I then finished it off with a more traditional drill 808 and kick. For a slight switch up, I went back to Ram for inspiration. I changed the kick pattern to a Jersey one, incorporated a synth bass, some Jersey-like percussion, and I automated the filter so it builds back up into another drop. know Bryson is just as much as a rapper as he is a singer and after dropping this hit song he's proved it again I'm gonna take a bougie ass to Rodale and let her pick up whatever she want they actually sampled a very small excerpt from this song To recreate this kind of melody, you need really high quality string sounds so I used this contact bank and began stacking layers Notice how the second layer is quieter and shifted quite far back. This gives a more human feel to it. Then I added a single note trill and some chords to finish it off. You can hear in the original sample that there's a chime, so I added something similar as well as a texture in the background. And finally, to give it more depth, I added a synth pad. To flip the sample, I started by half-timing it and adding in a Detroit-style snare and hi-hat. And to finish it off, I added an 808 and stomp. Last but not least, there are songs like Peace Interlude with some more traditional Bryson Tiller production. It all starts with these emotional chords. I used a simple Rhodes, played with room reverb and compression. Next, you can hear these slowed down ambient vocals. So I recorded some in, time stretched them and drowned them in reverb, leaving us with this. On Peace Interlude, the chords are reversed at points, so I added in this reverse version of the original chords we played on the roads, alongside these piano accents. Now the drums on this song are very simple and slowed down. I started with a clap, hi-hat and kick. Then I bounced these to audio, filtered them, added delay and pitched them down, adding a layer of texture underneath before finally adding in a synth bass.
With this album, Bryson managed to include elements of his trap soul sound, like ambient vocals and hard drums, whilst combining that with different chord progressions and bounces. So next time you cook up, try blending two different drum patterns or using a different type of chord progression and see what you can come up with. Oh,